I'm joined by, with the return of NXT UK, the former NXT UK Tag Team Champions, Mark Andrews and Flash Morgan Webster. Guys, how's it going? Good, thanks, buddy. How are you? Good, good. I mean, this is pretty exciting, right? NXT UK is back, and uh, with the NXT UK Heritage Cup, Flash, you're going to be in this tournament. Um, tell us a little bit about it, about this tournament. What's the right time now for a tournament like this to come around? You know, because it's old school. Uh, talk a little bit about it. Oh, I, I think uh, you hit the nail on the head, really. It is. It's old school meets new school. It's the old school rules meets the modern day wrestling. And I think I'm just really, really excited to see, for you all to see what we've produced here. Like I was saying in another interview that I really got into uh, MMA over the course of this uh, this lockdown. And I think it's because it's small, it's intimate, and it's just got this great one-on-one -on -one sporting feel. And I feel, you know, we're coming back with no fans. And I think one of the ways that we can kind of combat the lack of fans is to just make it more aggressive, you know, more intense, more sporting. And what better way to do that than to bring back these British school, this British old school rules. And I'm just, you know, super excited for you to see what we've produced because I honestly think uh, this Heritage Cup has already produced some of the best matches you're going to see. I mean, Mark, uh, Flash touched on a really good point there. With, with you guys not sort of being able to work uh, in front of fans right now with what's going on, how does that change the kind of psychology for you guys of having these matches when there's not that crowd to feed off of? You know what? I actually think uh, out of any of the, the wrestling that's going on in the world right now that maybe NXT UK would be the best prepared because the British wrestling scene wasn't always the kind of the, the hot thing that it is now. It hasn't always been as booming as it, uh, as it is now. And I think that we've almost had more practice than a lot of others around the world performing in front of no one <laughs> to say, you know, honestly, it's like, you know, we, we've all been there where we've gone to a show and there's only been two or three people in the crowd, which sounds absolutely crazy considering to how booming the scene is now. Um, but I think most of our roster, at least the guys who've been at it for a good while, we're, you know, we've all done it before. We've all, we've all wrestled in front of no one really. So it's not like this uncomfortable vibe that a lot of people, might, might you know, feel like overseas, for example. Um, I think this is something that everyone's kind of in their comfort zone doing. Obviously, you know, uh, having a good crowd does help your adrenaline in the ring. It massively does help and it gives you something to kind of feed off of. But I think, as I said, we're all used to, you know, like training environments and, and environments just from back in the day where we were performing in front of no one. That it's, it's not too far away from our comfort zone, to be honest. So I, I definitely think that our roster is well prepared. And how about you, Flash? Do you kind of feel the same way in regards to kind of, you know, adapting to this uh, strange situation that we find ourselves in? Um, I think me and Mark talked about this the other day. Uh, if you look across the board, you look at NXT, you look at Raw at SmackDown, anyone who's really excelled when it comes to no fans, your likes of Daniel Bryan, your likes of Finn Balor, your Timothy Thatcher, your AJ Styles, your Cesaros, every single one of them has either adapted from the British style or, you know, they've done the rounds over here. So I feel that like, you know, they've really tapped into that sportiness and that, you know, intensity, that aggression, and they've really borrowed from what we do best. So I think when you look at that and you look at who's really doing well with these no fans, you know, it's the people who have kind of been able to adopt that British style or, you know, elements of it who bring it to their wrestling today. Whereas we're not adopting anything. This is our style. So if you're enjoying, you know, the pinnacle of the no fans era, then, you know, you're not going to see any sort of imitation when it watches NXT UK. You're going to see the real product. So if you enjoy it, then come and check us out because we are the best at what we do. And I mean, you, you, Mark, you touched on, you know, fans uh, are important. But obviously, fans were no more important the night that you guys won the NXT UK tag team titles in Cardiff. People were going crazy. Um, and, you know, for you guys to win that, especially in Cardiff, I'm sure meant a lot. Can you take, to both of you, can you take us back to that day? What are your memories of it, whether it's an interaction or a moment of just kind of how that all played out? Uh, I mean, it was the best day ever, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it was just the best. I mean, uh, you know, I, I felt like, like me and Flash both, we actually had a lot of relief once it was over because when something is lined up so perfectly, you, you almost doubt yourself and you, you prepare for something to go wrong, you know, an injury or, or a screw up or something like that. And I, it felt like it was too good to be true, to be honest. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, it was in our home country, all of our friends and all of our family in the crowd. We became the first ever Welsh champions in the history of WWE. And then like the cherry on top of it as well was like, 
my band did the theme song for the event. You know, it felt like, okay, this is all too good to be true. You know, is someone going to hand me a million dollars as well? Like, it, it, it was literally <laughs> like all just lined up. So I was convinced that something was going to go wrong. Uh, and when it didn't, it just, I mean, it was incredible. You know, I, I think it's going to take something really, really big to top that moment in our careers. You know what I mean? And like, I hope WrestleMania comes to, comes to Wales because that could be something that tops it. But other than that, you know, it, it's, it's been the peak of both of our careers up until now. And I think we've both been kind of chasing that high again ever since, you know, and, and, and it's, you know, hopefully we find that high again. Hopefully we get to that level again. But to, to do it in Cardiff on such a big event, in, in one of my favorite matches that I've ever had in my 15 years of wrestling. I, it couldn't have gone better, to be honest. And as I said, I'm just really glad that I got to experience that throughout my career. And along with, you know, one of my best friends by my side, experiencing it as well. Uh, uh, Mark hits so many of the nails on the head there. It's, but it's like, if you look at it and list it down, as he said, okay, first Welsh champions uh, in Wales, in front of our friends and family. And then on top of it, if you look for Mark, Mark goes, okay, his band played the theme song for the events. That's absolutely mental. But then on my side as well, one of the biggest reasons I got into wrestling was because there was a, a British wrestling legend from my hometown called Adrian Street. And he was there as well. So on top of these two, the flip side is like Mark's band plays it. And then the guy who, you know, was kind of a childhood hero to me was in the, was in the building watching along. Like as Mark said, you really couldn't, if it was, a, if this was written down, you would go, this isn't believable. You know, this would never play out as well as it did. Unfortunately, we were able to do it and we were able to do it with each other. And, you know, it also went down as not just one of the best matches that weekend, but also one of the best matches of the year. So we really just, everything we could ask for, you know, was perfect. I mean, you know, for you, for you guys having that moment in Cardiff, you know, when you look across all of WWE, I mean, for, for Scottish people, we've got Drew as the, the WWE champion. You've got Nikki Cross going to be challenging Bailey. Is it cool for, you know, whether it's Wales or Scotland, that like now there is that attainable goal. There is the idea that you can become the NXT UK Tag Team Champion. One of you guys could be in the Rumble next year. Like, now the kind of, it's all opened up and you, you never know where it can go. Yeah, 100%. I mean, I think that when we were younger, growing up, you know, it, it really didn't seem that attainable. You know, you had a few British wrestlers out in WWE, but it was, you know, maybe British Bulldog, maybe William Regal, maybe Fit Finley, but there wasn't really, like, you go to ladder to climb if that makes sense you know you had companies like fwa for example but even that it didn't seem to like attainable especially being from wales you know um and i like to think that now with with nxt uk but not only that but as you said having like a great crop of scottish wrestlers a great crop of irish wrestlers a great crop of welsh wrestlers uh, and english wrestlers as well which makes the majority but especially for scotland um wales and ireland it's now there is that kind of direct attainability i guess you know now if, if you were a kid watching wwe and said i wonder if there's any wrestlers from where i live you'd be able to find it you know and i like to think that there are young wrestlers now from wales flash said this earlier you know there'll be young wrestlers from wales who who can see us and see that it is achievable to work for the wwe to become a professional wrestler to to be a champion in wwe um and you know that's amazing because that's something that i wish we had when we were younger and the fact that we can offer that now to, to future generations of wrestler is just is the best really when when mason ryan showed up on raw that was such a big deal to us we were like, <laughs> oh my god oh my god there's a welsh man on raw like that blew our absolute mind and that was what 10 12 years ago and yeah. he was he was the first welsh person he was the only welsh person and but then you again you still look at him and if you've ever met the man the man's an absolute freak he's massive like so you kind of like think to yourself well of course he's there look at him he's a monster but now if you're a wrestling fan and you look at it and go, I wonder if there is any Welsh wrestlers. There's Mark Andrews, Flash Morgan Webster, Eddie Dennis, Tegan Knox, Wild Boar. And then you've got so many people who have also come through the Welsh wrestling scene as well and applied their craft here. And also, you know, some people who have moved and opted to move to Wales because that was the best place for them to be. As Mark said, like when we were kids, these, this dream was a million miles away. And every year it just seemed like we'd get a little bit closer, a little bit closer, a little bit closer. But you never, sometimes you just never think this is going to happen. And now, you know, for any person who's looking to get into this, who's, who's a seven or eight year old kid watching this and they're going, I wonder, as Mark said, is there anyone from Wales? And there is. And there they go, well, okay, I can do this. And I think it's that belief, you know, it means anything's possible. I think that's the strongest thing in the world. 
I, I never quite thought I'd hear the name Mason Ryan again in recent times. I've, I will laugh about that for days. Uh, but listen, you, guys, you, you get to work behind the scenes with Triple H. We know Shawn Michaels is involved. We've seen that he's going to be kind of, you know, behind the scenes uh, during the tapings and stuff. What has it been like to work with them? And has there been any kind of pieces of advice that either of them have been able to give to you guys that you're kind of taking forward in your careers now? Yeah, I mean, Sean especially has been someone who's been incredibly inspirational for me and Flash. Who's, I mean, one being like a smaller wrestler as well, you know, he, he's not like something which is, he's not some super unrelatable style of wrestler. Uh, and he's given us tons of feedback over the whole time we've worked in NXT UK. Um, I mean, I think not necessarily in terms of a specific feedback that he's given us, but something which is really going kind to of be inspiring and, and motivating to hear from him is, is how open he is to this modern style of, of professional wrestling. You know, I think mean, a lot of people within the wrestling scene, they look at people who've been around for a long time, you know, like veterans and legends, and they think that maybe that um, some of them can't adapt to like this modern style of professional wrestling, but Sean's the opposite. I feel like Sean embraces, you know, whatever is coming next. And, and he's, and he's also, because he's been there and he's done it all, you know, he's, he's literally had, he's achieved everything that you possibly could in this industry. He's someone who, he can better this modern style probably more than anyone else because he's so open-minded towards it. But on top of that, he's had all the years, he's all the credentials to make it so much better than, than we could, you know, that the modern wrestlers could make it on their own. Um, so it's just, it, it's incredibly rewarding to be able to get feedback from him and to work with him and just to hear his ideas as well to how the entire roster and, and on NXT and NXT UK, how we can all become better performers. Cause he's just, I mean, he's, best of all time isn't he in my opinion and in a lot of people's opinion he's the best of all time so. <laughs> uh as on like feedback or not i can't really top that markets you know every point perfectly uh for me personally one of my favorite ones was after take over blackpool after we had done the double flip off the ladder we come backstage and Shawn michaels goes you guys okay and we're like yeah we're fine he goes you guys are nuts <laughs> and that's, that's, <laughs> me, that's, like, that's the biggest comedy you can have i'm thinking i'm nuts you're Shawn michaels what are you talking about but yeah i think to myself the man you know who, you know, revolutionized the ladder match and he's looking at us going, you two are nuts. Like for me, that's, that's a, a moment where you have to pinch yourself and be like, right, did we fall a bit awkward off that ladder? <laughs> are we, am I still a bit, you know, not with it? But yeah, for me, that's like a personal highlight. Just, you know, having a guy who's hands down, he is my favorite wrestler of all time, looking at us two and, you know, being in awe of something that we've done in a match that he revolutionized. For me, that's, you can't really ask for anything more. For sure. Well, listen, NXT UK is back now in the WWE Network. People can check it out. But I do want to just last question ask you both. We've obviously now we're seeing progress in ICW in the WWE Network. People have been looking for that for a long time. Uh, we can see you guys on, on progress and stuff. Why should people, if they've not checked out some of that Brit those British indies that kind of spawned all you, know, you guys, why should they check it out in the network? It's some of the best wrestling um, of the last 10 years. You know, WXW, ICW, Evolve, Progress. It, you know, it's, there's a reason why WWE came to the UK to start NXT UK, to, to put us on, you know, this global platform, because the talent here was outstanding. Uh, and it's, you know, it, the British wrestling scene has been the wrestling scene's best kept secret for years. And over the last five years, it has boomed more than ever. And some of the talent has come out of this country. And, you know, a lot of us working now for NXT UK or NXT, but even the ones that aren't, there's some hidden gems in there that you can go and watch on the WWE Network right now. And it's, I'm sure they're going to continue to keep releasing, you know, old old shows from those independent companies. And I hope they do. And I hope it opens a lot of people's eyes to a lot of talent that they've never seen before. Um, because you could find your next favorite wrestler from watching one of those shows. In fact, I'm almost sure you will, because there's some outstanding stuff on those shows. And also it's from all around the world. You know what I mean? It's from, from Scotland, it's from all around the UK, Germany, Evolve, doing all around America. It's, it's something a bit different that you might, not, you might not have seen before. So I really do urge everybody to go and check it out. Yeah, again, on top of that, I think myself, like there's so many people who watch this product now and again, not know about the stuff that's happened at Progress, ICW, Evolve, WXW. And there'll be people who go, oh, there's this dream match. I wonder, off, picking off the top of my head, what it would be like if Keith Lee was to wrestle Flash Morgan Webster, well, that's happened. And you could look at kind of like who Mark Andrews has wrestled and then look at like, okay, Roger Strong's been on those shows. And you can kind of just look at it and go, okay, there's so many dream matches that fans want to see that have already happened. So there might be reasons why, especially now with the pandemic, that we, this can't happen, and especially can't happen for a while. And they might be to kind of sift through these and find some real great hidden gems. 
and kind of tick off some bucket list matches that they didn't really know existed. Great. Well, listen, guys, I want to wish you the best of luck with NXT UK, especially for you, Flash, and the NXT UK Heritage Cup. And I look forward to WrestleMania in Wales. You've broken That'll it here do first. It. Thank you, the pandemic's over. WrestleMania in Wales. Me <laughs> versus Mason <laughs> Ryan. Let's do it, guys. Mason <laughs> Ryan in the main event. Keep saying it. <laughs> Thanks, guys.